Hey guys, Jason Lino here. It has been a hot minute since I have been in front of this camera. Holy moly, I know, it's been a while. Uh, but I assure you, I'm still kind of training. Okay, I should actually say, I, I haven't really been training, I'm not gonna lie. Ever since that last PR I hit, I was trying to dabble in some training, but then I started focusing more on like vacations, working on my house, things of that nature. I haven't really been doing a lot, not gonna lie. Uh, dabbled a little bit with some like overload training at like a short range of motion. Dabbled a little bit with some like power building, you know, like bodybuilding hybrid. Uh, didn't really fly. Don't really like volume. It doesn't really like me. Uh, but I am kind of getting back in the swing of things now. Uh, I'm actually just starting week two. Uh, Brandon Lilly's Q method. You guys probably know of it if you've in the powerlifting community, uh, but it basically goes hand in hand with like Jim Wendler's 531 and uh, Strongest 5 by 5s things of those nature. Pretty basic style. Uh, it's uh, daily undulating periodization for anybody who wants to get super technical. Uh, but basically, it's you know heavy one day, medium one day, light one day, or in Brandon's terms, heavy one day reps one day, explosive the next. Uh, it's kind of similar to the Brendan Schwab's method that I did in the past, but it was more of like a super concurrent, like West Side-y template. This is more of just like linear daily undulating style. So it's gonna be good. Uh, all in all so far, it's exactly what I need. Uh, just to kind of go over this swing of things, I'm not gonna explain everything. Uh, just because a you can just look it up or b you could just buy his ebook like his first one was literally like not even 10 bucks So might as well buy that uh, but It starts off with you take your max you round it down to 95% Then you base all your percentages off that and then you just work your way through waves until you get to uh, About 10 weeks and then you do a mock meet and then you kind of just keep recycling until you go on from there A lot of people have made a lot of great progress on it uh, just because of the waves of the heavy uh, reps and explosive training, just because you're, for layman's terms, heavy, medium, light. Uh, it, it's good because you're able to recover and you're still able to get a decent amount of stimulus. Like in the end, you're always trying super hard, uh, but you're not necessarily killing yourself with that intensity. So as of right now, uh, I've been doing their basic four day template that comes in the 365 book. Uh, it starts off with deadlifts, bench, squat, and then it has an additional hypertrophy day. Uh, so I'm just going to show you the highlights of my first week of the squats, bench, and deadlift, or sorry, deadlift, bench, and squats. And then we'll go from there, and I'm just going to jump back and probably break it down day by day, just to kind of give more of a highlight of that specific day instead of having essentially uh, a 30 second highlight deal. Unless... I get a little busy, then I'll always depend on those. But guys, thank you so much for coming back or sticking around even. None of my subscribers have really bounced in this last like month and a half to two months. So I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, and as always, do me that favor, go down below, drop me some comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And then once you've done that, if you haven't already, please hit that like, share, and subscribe to spread that love. And I will see you next time.